Hey everyone, Tankenstein here. In this video, I'll be going over what I consider to be the top 5 fighters at Tier 3 in War Thunder. Tier 3 is where, in my opinion, War Thunder starts getting very fun and has plenty of well-known vehicles, whether they're aircraft, tanks, or even ships. Because of that, Tier 3 is a heavily played portion of the game and thus deserves special attention. With that said, bear in mind that these are just my opinions based on my decade plus of playing War Thunder. If you have a different opinion of what vehicles should be on this list, that's totally cool. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, this list is not in any order as the top 5 fighters in rank 3 are so good that they're all more or less equal with each other, but each plane having different strengths and weaknesses. But with all that said, let's jump into the video. And first, the F8F1 Bearcat. Starting off with the F8F1, the Bearcat might be the fastest fighter on this list, with the most powerful engine relative to the size and weight of the plane. It has a decent loadout of 450 cal HMGs that can carry a belt of purely incendiary tracers, which helps tremendously in terms of firepower, especially versus aircraft. Further, it can turn well and can largely outpace any vehicle that it fights on all counts, whether in a dive, climb, or even flying straight. Further, it can carry an optional 450 cal HMGs HMGs in underwing gun pods that will effectively double its firepower, although at a loss of some speed and maneuverability. It can even carry up to three 1,000 pound bombs, which is excellent for any plane at this BR, especially a fighter. While its main weakness is its somewhat mediocre armament, the F8F1 Bearcat more than makes up for it with its top of the line performance. Next up, we have the P47 D25. This is an incredibly powerful plane in terms of overall speed and firepower, both between its 850 cal HMGs and large secondary ordnance capability. It's also incredibly durable, being able to return to a base with damage that would otherwise be considered catastrophic on other aircraft, fighter or otherwise. While it is a bit heavy, it can actually handle quite well, especially at higher speeds. While it is also a large target, the Thunderbolt can still fairly easily evade most enemies with a skillful pilot. Because it has such a heavy armament, especially when equipped with its incendiary tracer belts, the Thunderbolt can take down any enemy with ease, be it a fighter or even a bomber. It can even strafe ground targets with great success. Even more so, it has an excellent secondary ordnance at its BR, between its 1,000 pound bombs, 500 pound bombs, and numerous HFARs. Of the vehicles on this list, the P-47 D-25 is likely to be the most versatile. Next, we have the BF-109 F-4. This is quite possibly the most well-balanced BF-109 in War Thunder, and maybe even one of the most balanced planes in total in the game. This vehicle is agile, relatively fast, decently well armed, and is a great energy fighter. While it is built a little bit lightly, it can still take some damage before dying. That is though, if you get hit in the first place as the BF-109 F4 is small and nimble, which makes it a difficult plane to target and counter. Add in optional 15mm cannons mounted under wing, and you can get a decent boost of firepower too, as the base firepower is just decent, with only two LMGs and a single 20mm MG-151 cannon, although the MG-151 is easily one of the best cannons before jets come around. While it doesn't have too much in the way of anti-ground ordnance, with a single 250 kilogram bomb being its best offering, the BF-109 F4 more than makes up for it by being an excellent fighter. The BF-109 line in the German air tech tree is likely my favorite line in War Thunder from any tech tree, and the F4 is likely my favorite of those planes. There's a reason for it. It's like driving a perfect sports car, but with guns on it. Next up, we have the A6 M3 Mod 22. While a slightly higher BR than the A6 M3, it has a sufficiently better turning capability over that aircraft, where it is quite possibly the most maneuverable aircraft at its BR. Further, it features an extremely potent armament of 20mm cannons and LMGs, of which can be deadly if used correctly. While it doesn't have the greatest speed, nor does it have any armor or self-sealing fuel tanks, this vehicle is a turn fighter's dream. In my first ever match with it, of which was fully stock, I earned 5 kills with relative ease. If you know what you're doing, this vehicle, or really any of the A6M3s, can be extremely deadly. Unlike the previous entries on this list, the Mod 22 isn't very well balanced, clearly favoring maneuverability over everything else except for maybe its armament, but it turns so quickly that the other things don't quite matter anymore. And finally, before we get to the last member of this list, I do have a few honorable mentions that were really, really close to being on this list and 
quite honestly, like I said in the intro, there are so many great rank three vehicles that just having five on this list wouldn't be quite right. So again, we have the ones that couldn't quite make the cut, but were really close anyways. And to start for those honorable mentions, we have the P51 D5. If only considering the bubble top variants, this is probably the weakest Mustang of them all. It still has good speed, maneuverability, and a decent climb rate, as well as sweet tracers that will light enemies on fire, but it doesn't really stand out in any one way compared to anything else at this BR, although it doesn't have many large weaknesses, which is something that can't be said about most other fighters in rank 3. Some people will like the D5, and some people might dislike it. I personally find it to be a good enough mix of traits to be an honorable mention, which still makes it, in my opinion, a great aircraft, especially if you want some versatility, but it isn't going to be the cream of the crop. One could even say that the C variants are better than the D5, relative to BR at least, but I find them to be about as good as each other when taking BR into consideration, at least insofar as being a pure fighter is concerned. Next, we have the C205 N2. This is another vehicle that, in my opinion at least, is good but not the best, and it just so happens to be an Italian fighter. It has a very powerful armament of three MG151 20mm cannons, as well as two HMGs, which leads to it being very deadly when scoring a hit. Though its overall performance is good, but not great. I find that the top speed and climb rate are good, but not the best in its tier, as well as its agility, which leads to the 205 being very good overall, but just shy of being labeled as one of my top five. It is, however, an excellent excuse to try out the Italian Air Tech Tree, which I encourage all of you to do, as the prop planes play like a bizarro German Air Tech Tree, as they share many of the same armaments, but just in different configurations, with the Italians oftentimes arming their planes even more heavily than the Germans do. And finally, for the honorable mentions, we have the Spitfire Mark V C Trop. Essentially, all Spitfires can be accounted among the best fighters around their BR, and for good reason. Much like the BF 109 F4, the Spitfire Mark V Trop is like a sports car, except instead of being built by the Germans, it was built by the British. Essentially, it's a Jaguar instead of a Porsche. The Mark V Trop has excellent turning capabilities, probably better than almost any other vehicle in game, even more so than even the similar BF 109 F4 though with a mediocre top speed and good but not amazing rate of climb for its BR. This is partially because the Trop has slightly lower performance due to worse airflow hitting the engine, but a more favorable BR compared to the non-Trop version. Because of that, I'd say it's better than the non-Trop version simply because it has to fight lower BR enemies than again the non-Trop variant, while only sacrificing somewhat of a low amount of performance. Besides this, it has an excellent armament with four 20mm Hispano Mark II cannons with over 5 kilograms of burst mass per second. Realistically, this plane could easily be on the list proper, and likely should be, but for me, it has a somewhat worse roll rate than I prefer, which leads to it being an honorable mention on my list, despite still being an absolutely amazing fighter at rank 3. Now with that being said, the last of the non-ordered top 5 fighters in tier 3 for War Thunder, and I have it as the I-185M82. Being armed with three 20mm cannons with nearly 200 rounds each, the I-185M82 is extremely well armed in agile for its BR. While it isn't particularly fast at the top end, it has a decent enough rate of climb, fair acceleration, and good agility that can be combined to thoroughly annihilate enemies in any way that you want, especially if you catch them while they're distracted while they're going after allies. It even has a decent secondary ordnance amount, being able to carry up to two 250 kilogram bombs or a number of rockets, as well as just being a good strafer in its own right. CAS, however, is not what I'm considering at all when it comes to the vehicles on this list. In my opinion, it's all about how these vehicles perform against other aircraft, with CAS just being a nice little bonus to note when possible. With that said, as a fighter, the I-185M82 might very well be the best on this list, at least relative to BR, and especially if you like firepower. With all the other amazing planes on this list, that is definitely saying something. Again, in my opinion, these vehicles are pretty much just as good as each other, just in different ways, so giving them a 1-5 to ranking really wouldn't make all too much sense, at least in my opinion, but if you guys want, 
Again, let me know in the comments below what your top five rank three fighters are. I am more than interested to hear and what you'd rank the ones that I have on this list. So for example, if this was a ranking rather than just a top five in general, what would your ranking be of the vehicles that I have on this list? But that said, thanks so much for watching. If you don't mind, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. By the way, thanks again. I'll see you all on the other side. Take care, everyone.